Eric Duhotschek talked about this on The Athletic, and I really wanted to bring it up on the channel today because I think it would be interesting to get both points of views on this subject. Now, what I mean by both points of views, I mean two team fan bases' point of views. First off, the Detroit Red Wings fan base, and second off, the Calgary Flames fan base. Now, I know Flames fans may not actually like me all too much because I am a primary Canucks fan that's just in the blood of the rivalry, if you want to even say that a rivalry does exist in this day and age. But as a person who also does follow the Red Wings and is aware of how things are kind of going over there in Detroit, from one side at least, I can totally understand this idea. So what exactly is Eric Duhatschek talking about here? Well, let's go over to his most recent athletic article. I'll leave a link in the description to that. No screenshots of passages of things that he talks about because, you know, it's paid for content. I'm not going to steal that. But he published an article, he published his Duet's Check notebook, Imagining an NHL with an All-Canadian Division, Trade Watch Heats Up, and more. And specifically, he talked about the Calgary Flames, and how the Flames really want to add a top six winger to help out Johnny Gaudreau and all those guys. You know how it is. The Flames, they need top six forwards, they need top six wingers, guys to play with Gaudreau, guys to play with Monaghan. That's always kind of been a story here. As with the majority of Calgary Flames trade rumor discussions, Duathchek also talks about Sam Bennett, and how Sam Bennett could potentially be the trade piece, let's just say, because Sam Bennett is not necessarily a guy who is that top six winger to play with Gaudreau, he's not really a top six winger to play with Monaghan, Bennett is a center who hasn't necessarily been all too well throughout his past few seasons in comparison to what people thought he would be. Now, Duhatschek mentions several different players that could be that answer that the Calgary Flames could be looking for, and one in particular really does spark my interest because it comes along with a team that I follow very much. Andreas Athanasiu from the Detroit Red Wings. Now, I did make an Athanasiu trade rumor should the Red Wings trade Athanasiu video earlier in the year, and that was greeted with a lot of positive reception, lots of good comments, lots of people chiming in and giving out their opinion, which is always the main goal with these videos. But I wanted to touch upon that subject again because this kind of angle is one that, thinking about it, it really kind of does make sense to me for both sides. Just taking a look at who both of these players are right now, Andreas Athanasiu is not all too great this season. He's in a contract year, he's coming off of 30 goals last year, and this year he hasn't really been all too great in comparison to what he has done last year. Athanasiu right now, 19 points in 36 NHL games. If we do the math, 19 divvy 36 times 82, that is a 43-point pace, which is not terrible, but it's not as good as he was last year, where he got 54 points and 30 goals. Right now, this season, he only has 5 goals, which is an 11-goal pace over the span of 82 games. Athanasiu is a 25-year-old, 6'2", 187-pound winger. He can play left, he can play right, doesn't really matter. But the thing that makes Athanasiu a valuable asset to a team is his pizzazz, his speed, his skating. These are the things that allow Athanasiu to really thrive. And if you watch a lot of his goals over the past two seasons, you can see a lot of his goals are started because the guy just takes the puck, speeds up with it, shoots it, and he scores it. Athanasiu isn't really a normal hockey player in the sense that the majority of goals do come on the rush. That's not a bad thing, it's just different. The majority of the players who thrive with Johnny Gaudreau and Sean Monaghan are really good at that cycling game. They're really good at being in the right place at the right time. They're really good at finding open space and sending passes along to their teammates. That's kind of why Yuri Hoodler a few years ago was so good with Gaudreau and Monaghan. Athanasiu is a completely different style, but it's one that I don't think will not mesh well with a Gaudreau. 
Because if Gaudreau could, oh, I don't know, send up some breakout passes to Athanasiu, he can get some chances in. Or Athanasiu can speed in with the puck, send one over for a cross crease for Gaudreau. I don't know, it really opens up the doors to different possibilities. Athanasiu is in a weird spot where he does have one year left. Well, this is the last year. He is in a contract year. He's making $3 million at the moment, and who knows if he's going to want to raise because he got 30 goals last year, or if he's going to stay in the same ballpark because this season he's not doing too greatly. So the contract talks with Athanasiu are not the most stable, which is why Detroit Red Wings fans are always thinking of the idea, hey, would we be willing to part with an Athanasiu in a trade? This scenario has him going over to Calgary in exchange for Sam Bennett, who hasn't really been all too great in his own right either. He's been a consistent 30-25 point scorer in the NHL ever since coming into the league when he was just 18. I remember 18-year-old Sam Bennett. That was the pain of my existence for the time that it was going on. That phrase was so annoying. But Sam Bennett, this year, he's only got 6 points in 31 games. Doing the math on that, 6 divvy 31 times 82, that's 15, 16 points over the entire season. That's not great. And he's only at 4 goals, so Sam Bennett has definitely been lacking in that department when it comes to being productive. He's a guy that a lot of people still believe does have the potential to become a 50-60 top 6 scoring forward. And... It's for good reason. The guy was drafted fourth overall for a reason. He was really gosh darn good back in junior, so it's not a surprise that people thought he would be good in the NHL too. It's just kind of unfortunate seeing how things have played out, where four something seasons in, he's only getting 25 points a year. But obviously, I'd be a fool if I said that 25 points is all he'll ever get. In fact, he did get a 36-point season back in 2015-16, so there's that. But Sam Bennett is a guy who people have always been saying is a trade piece in the works. Now, I'm going to be honest, if he's going to go over to Detroit in a trade scenario like this, it's something that I wouldn't necessarily think right away is an amazing decision. Because Bennett is a center, and Bennett is a guy who will step into the lineup already consisting of, you know, Dylan Larkin, Joe Valeno is in the works. Some of these other guys are already in that center core, and to me, it doesn't necessarily scream the most viable option for the wings. However, it is noted in the article on The Athletic here that Steve Eiserman apparently did have interest in Sam Bennett back when he was the Lightning general manager. So, if it comes over to that perspective and Steve Eiserman is the guy saying, yeah, I would like to get this player, then I'm going to trust that because Steve Eiserman knows way more about hockey than I do. It's just, from my mere fan point of view, it doesn't necessarily seem like an amazing move, but Bennett can play the left wing as well, so that's also an option that we would need to consider too. Athanasiu is a winger, Bennett can play the wing, so in a trade like this, it could essentially just be a one-for-one, one, a swappage of values, a swappage of two players who aren't necessarily doing too great and who have had better days in the past, yet are both still young. So, I want to open the floor to you. Comment down below if you're a Red Wings fan, talk about Sam Bennett and how this could potentially be good for the Red Wings, I guess. And Calgary fans, if you're over there, which I'm not too sure if you are, but if you are, comment down below what you think about Athanasiu. The idea of trading either of these guys has always been discussed, and I think this is the first time I've really acknowledged them crossing paths. I don't really recall ever making a video about Sam Bennett in the past, Actually, yeah, I'm trying to think about it. I really do remember making a video about Athanasiu, but never really about Bennett. So this is the first time we're discussing Bennett and having him in a dual video with Athanasiu, I think is really interesting because the idea was brought up on The Athletic and I think it does have some merit. So, yeah. Trade rumors, right? It's really interesting when you get into the possibilities with one of the worst teams the NHL has seen in years, and a playoff team, a bubble team, I guess I should say, in a desperate Canadian market. So, once again, comment down below what you think. I'd be willing to read all your comments. Hope you enjoyed this video, Social Actual Slay 9, and 
Bye.